Hey Virgo, happy Saturday. Thank you all for your wishes of me getting well. I appreciate you. Still sick. I'm still not doing as well as I thought I did. I was started working on my readings today. Um, I got all of my personal readings for who are waiting for me out of the way. So if you've been waiting on a personal reading, check your emails. They're done. I don't have any readings at the moment. I'm going to do this reading today and then I'm going to end it. I'll, I'll be back tomorrow for more readings. I'm getting a headache. <laughs> I'm uh, got this sinus infection with this respi respiratory infection and just a headache. <laughs> I mean, it's just, uh, I'm just ready to go lay back down. So I just want to do a reading for you all. Um, and we'll go from here. Uh, this is a reading about a female who has passed away. Shouldn't even be in there. Wow. So I'm shuffling. I have a deck here, okay? But the card that's in here, uh, a mother's love. And I'm doing a reading for a female who passed away. So this could be a mother, okay, who passed away. A mother's love is reaching out to you at this time and holding you close. She knows how much you miss her and wants, you, and wants to remind you that this special bond of love can never be broken. So it's a female. This could be a, a mother who passed away or a motherly figure. She, uh, if she's not your mother, okay, she she felt like a mother. It could be an aunt, it could be a grandmother, or a female in general who is no longer with us. Okay. All right. What messages does this female have for you from the other side, right now? Messages from a female who passed away, Virgo. Message from a female who passed away. We have here earth magic, fearless, removing obstacles. She wants you to remain steadfast, okay? Remain steadfast, be fearless. And she's, she's going to help you remove these obstacles that are in your path by sending you blessings, by giving you the energy to move forward and to release things that no longer serve you. You took her, you took a, uh, um, a flower off of, off of her coffin when at the end of the funeral, you probably still have that flower or a trinket, a necklace or something, but more so about the flower. You still have the flower. You put it in a book, like a pressed petal or something like that. Okay. <sighs> Message from the female who has passed away. Uh, power of self-love. She wants you to love yourself. Love yourself. Love your faults. Heal your heart. To heal from her, her passing. You look just like her, I'm hearing. You look just like her, all right? Um, she could probably could have been a fan of models, like watching watching people walk across the catwalk or Iman, like the like the the maybe she had maybe she was very statuesque like like that model Iman. I don't know when I when I look at this, I think of that model Iman. Okay, she was beautiful. Your mother was beautiful, probably model, probably could be a model if she wanted to, but she never did. OK, like fashion, like design, like clothes. Um, I'm hearing like House of Derriere or uh, different things like that, like to model, like to, to like to watch those shows on TV. Okay? So, of course, that's not for all. Message from a mother. A female on the other side. We're going to say mother. Message from a mother from the other side. Transmission perception is she's communicating with you, Virgo, from the other side. Okay. She's she's communicating with you from the other side. She's helped guiding you and lead you. She also, I just, I, I kind of think that this, this person was very, very much into looking beautiful, looking pretty, wearing makeup, probably was a makeup artist or did something with, with painting, uh, wanting to make things look pretty. All right. Message from the female on the other side who could be a mother. Oh, a father too. A father's love. She's with your dad. Okay. She's with your father. A father's love for his son or daughter never dies. The strength gained from each from such love is often unquantifiable in that it can be tapped into at any time for whatever reason. Whether your father is still here or past, a father's love is one of the strongest bonds any of us will ever experience. For some of you, uh, this your father probably passed away at a very young age and your mother passed away at an older age, older than your father when he passed away. Some of you all, um, if your father is still here with you, you know, and you don't talk to him, your mother wants you to communicate, open the lines of communication. 
okay? She wants you to be the, the bigger person, open up the, mind, the lines of communication. Synchronicity. <clears throat> Are you noticing the signs of synchronicity that the spirit world has been sending to you? At this time, people and situations in your life are not appearing by coincidence. In reality, they're being guided to you from spirit world to help you for a specific reason. There are opportunities coming for you. Your minds are starting to think differently. Um, your minds are, are like pushing you to forward to apply for jobs, to move away from, from homes, to let go of friends who you no longer click with. And remember what I said earlier about your mother wanting you to reach out to your father? Be the, be the bigger person and reach out. Uh, it may be some bitterness here. It may be, you may not want to, but, you know, do it for your mother's sake. Okay. Just think about it. Reaching out to him or reaching out to somebody who, who felt, who always felt like a father, but when they passed away, you stopped talking to this person. We know you're reaching out now for help due to a current situation. Support is as much a about the physical act of accepting help where offered as it is about emotional benefits and learning that it's truly okay to accept support, however it, pre it pre is presented to you. Maybe this father wants to reach out to you and offer you help, you know, and because of what they did or because of what happened between your father and, and mother, that you don't want anything to do with this person, but still, that's your mother, and she, she's wanting you to reach out to your father, okay? Okay, Virgo. <laughs> that's just from your mother. This female from the other side. Okay, Virgo, messages from your mother from the other side. Electric, active. She's messing with electricity, okay? She's messing with the power. I'm hearing the, the heater. <laughs> maybe she's messing with the heater or something. You know, maybe she said, you know, pay the, pay the electric bill or something with the heater. Messing with the electric to get your attention. Trying to get your your she's trying to get your attention through flickering with the lights, messing with the lights. Okay, deep connections and water blessings, opening your heart. This is also saying that you can meditate in your tub or or anywhere where you're near water. And she's gonna you're gonna she's gonna be with you. She's with you a lot, but you're gonna definitely feel her near water, opening up your heart and be ready to receive the messages that she has for you. Okay. And reach out. She's she's offering you something, but are you going to are you going to accept what it is she's trying to offer you from the other side? She wants you to reach out and take her hand. She wants you to take reach out and and be able to feel her energy. Okay, how can you how can you accept something that's not there is actually there, but you have to decipher those messages because everybody receives messages and downloads differently. Messages from your mother from the other side. And we have to build uh, build your world, create creation, expansion, and networking. It's time to expand. It's time to open up. It's time to release, uncross your arms, and be willing and to receive. You may be seeing 33 a lot. She probably passed away at 33. You're probably 33 now. We got six. Her birthday is probably in June, maybe June 3rd. Could be, be the, the date that she passed away. Okay, idyllic times, the garden paradise, and we have here transmission, perception, communication. She's definitely communicating with you through animals as well. You're probably hearing dogs barking in the middle of the night, but that's normal. Maybe wolves, you're hearing them howl. Um, maybe she, there's, could somebody have a tattoo of a, of a wolf, maybe a, a relative or something as well. And uh, maybe owls, hearing owls in the middle of the night as well, communicating with you. Butterflies, okay, sending, she's sending you butterflies as well. See, she was such a beautiful person, Virgo. Such a beautiful person. Okay, uh, uh, physically and emotionally, on the inside and on the out. People said she was so beautiful. You look just like your mama. Okay, messages from your mother from the other side, Virgo. Yes, yeah, she's definitely trying to communicate. Queen, she wants you to know she loves you. <laughs> we got the Eight of Wands, and we have here the Queen of Cups. Okay, your mother wants simply wants you to know that she that she loves you. Um, 
that she cares about you. She's sending you well wishes. She's letting you know, I'm okay. I'm still beautiful. I'm still fine. I'm still pretty. That's me. <laughs> Sipping my tea. There we are, the flower again. You know, here we go. Something around, around a white flower that you have pressed in a Bible or something. Um, I'm hearing this song by Michael Bowden. It's called I Simply Love You. She simply loves you. I'll put that song in the comment section. Your mother simply wants you to know through this reading that she loves you. Okay. She simply loves you. She doesn't have to think twice. Okay. Look at this. Miracles. Ancient wisdom. Miracle begins with you. It's within. You are a miracle. You're probably a miracle birth. Okay. It was a miracle that you survived for some of you. Okay. It was a miracle that you survived that crash that rape, that kidnapping, whatever. It, you're a miracle, okay? Some of your power, um, the power is already within you. You probably love dogs. You probably love dogs, probably fought with, fought for animal rights, like um, Betty White. Maybe she was a fan of Betty White as well. Okay, summoning your instinct, your intellect, and your control. Being able to control your around, being able to control what happens to you instead of letting this stuff sink all in and not talking about your feelings and emotions. For some of you, your mother was your best friend. You keep a picture by your table at night, your bedside, and when you wake up, you see her. When you go to sleep, before you go to sleep, you see her and she's there. Okay. Twin flame, soul partner, it's eternal. She's sending you a cold flame, a cold flame. Cause she's she's sending you your twin flame, Virgo. She's sending you your your soulmate, your your one who she sees you marrying, the one who she sees you're spending the rest of your life with. And she's on the other side as well with her twin flame, Virgo. Virgo. Maybe she used heavy mascara on her eyes. A father's love. See, she's with her twin flame on the other side. She's with her father. Your father was her twin flame. And if 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 your father is still here, he's still her twin flame. He may be still here, but she still may be on the other side. They're still connecting from one side to another. But there's the they're, they're, they're each other's twin flames. Yes, she's definitely seeing that. Definitely letting you know that her father, that your father was her twin flame. And you all were, and you were conceived. You all, because you have sisters and brothers, possibly. You all were conceived in true love, true love. Okay, some of you were a caregiver to her when she before she passed away. Okay, she realizes that, and she wants to give you gratitude for being there for her when she couldn't do for herself. You did it all, and she wants to thank you with gratitude. Thank you, baby. I love you. You, you cared for her. You did things for her that she possibly didn't do or couldn't do for you. She says, now that I'm on the other side, just ask. Ask for it, whatever it is you need, and I'll do my best to get it to you, baby. There are many here in the spirit world that can assist you at this time. We are made up of the divine source, your loved ones, friends, guides, angels, and spirit helpers who are waiting to assist you. We are your spiritual team, and all you have to do is ask for our help and guidance. You helped her before she transcended and passed away, now she wants to help you thrive and grow, okay? Tell her what you want, Virgo. New beginnings, if you want new beginnings, so be it, so be it. Everything in life is consistently vibrating, is constantly vibrating and moving and therefore continuously changing and evolving. Be aware that a new beginning is on the horizon. Have courage and faith because right now, Life is trying to nudge you forward and move you in a new direction. Now, we've definitely been talking about this reading in readings before about job situations getting um, getting higher approved or or higher appointed jobs. Um, your your mother sending you blessings on so many new things, blessings of new beginnings, and she's doing this because she appreciates how you took care of her before she passed away. Okay, <clears throat> so something about the day she died. What do you want to re refer back to on the day you died? A mother who passed away. What do you want to refer back to on the day you transitioned? Six of Cups. 
somebody she hadn't seen in a long time, Ten of Pentacles, came back just before she passed away. They saw her take her last breath. They got there just in time. She acknowledges the fact that, that she saw you come back before she transitions, okay, for who that resonates with. And we have the high priestess. Um, we have the high priestess here. This could be your energy connecting to the other side for this reading. And we have the queen of pentacles. So she's definitely sending you more money, more income. This person who passed away, she probably left you some money. Yep. Ten of pentacles. Left you, you left you, left you the responsibility to, to take the money and, and, issue it out the way it was supposed it was meant to she left a huge responsibility for somebody okay but make sure they're doing the right thing is what i'm hearing with that money all right somebody may get the short end of the stick and that's unfair final message for your mother from your mother from the other side right now. <clears throat> some of them couldn't talk so their soul radiance they were a phoenix rising some of y'all probably saw a lot of birds when, when your mother transitioned. And they're beautiful. Uh, you have a beautiful, there's a beautiful portrait of your mother that you still watch, that you still look at, that you still have. You probably made copies of it or something. <clears throat> Final messages. And we have here hostilities, conflict, and unrest. She knows about these, these hostile energies. Stop. Stop arguing with each other. You either get along or leave each other the hell alone. Because she's seeing it. She doesn't like it. She doesn't like it. We have divine feminine. This is tapping into your energy, whether you're a male or a female. You're very magnetic and receptive. Be open to the energies, being able to being able to even out the good and the bad in your life. And knowing what is good for you and knowing what's not good for you. She's sending you birds, hummingbirds, bees for some of you. Final message. On your mother from the other side, Virgo. Grateful optimism, joy, joy, joyous view of the future. She sees that you're going to have a beautiful future, and she has a smile on her face because she sees your future is going. To, she says, "Stay optimistic about your future, baby." I'm sending you so many financial blessings, so many blessings in general. So she sees what we don't see here on the other side. OK, she sees our future. She sees where we're headed and she has a smile on her face. Just wait, baby. Just wait. You got so many good things to look forward to. This was this. this I'm hearing, too, this also could be a grandmother who, who raised you like a mother. She's on the other side as well. So proud of you. So she's so proud of what has yet to come for you. Just keep smiling. She's smiling because she is so joyful of what's going to happen to you, Virgo. Okay, let's get one more. Final message from a mother on the other side. Earth and magic. Fearlessness, removing obstacles, and abundance. <laughs> like I'm saying, she, she's happy that your future is going to be bright. And here's why. Okay, magic, obstacles. She's removing obstacles from your life so you can have an abundant future, something you probably didn't grow up in. Abundance, wealth, health, and having plenty of everything. And that's why she's keeping a smile on her face. Because you're going to have so many good things to be thankful for. She's already thankful for you. And you don't see it yet, Virgo. All right? I hope this message resonates.